Donald Trump first got into national politics through cable news. The National Enquirer, of all folks, did a poll recently, and they said I'd win the election. Long before he ran for president, the Manhattan real estate mogul liked going on CNN and Fox News to share his thoughts. When the economy crashes, when the country goes to total hell, yeah. and everything is a disaster, then you'll have a, you know, you'll have riots to go back to where we used to be when we were great. So it's not surprising that Trump has continued to filter political news this way. As president, he often watches hours of cable news each week, according to multiple accounts. And as he heads into his second year, he sought to remake his administration with some friendly faces from cable TV. In March, Trump hired CNBC commentator and economist Larry Kudlow to be director of the National Economic Council. He named former UN ambassador and cable news mainstay John Bolton as national security advisor. And he promoted former Fox & Friends host Heather Nauert as an acting undersecretary in the State Department. They weren't the first pundits to go from the Green Room to the White House. Former Deputy National Security Advisor K.T. McFarland regularly appeared on Fox News as a commentator for years. Short-lived White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci was a frequent presence on Fox Business Network. And Carl Higby, a former spokesman for the agency that runs AmeriCorps, was a guest on cable news shows. Not all of the hires have worked out. Trump has been rumored to have considered Fox News host Janine Pirro for Deputy Attorney General and Fox contributor Pete Hegseth for Secretary of Veterans Affairs, though neither got the job and Fox contributor Monica Crowley was pulled from consideration for Deputy National Security Advisor over a plagiarism scandal. What happened to me was a despicable, straight-up political hit job. Trump is not the first president to look for a reassuring face from cable news to fill his administration. President Obama once considered hiring CNN's Sanjay Gupta for Surgeon General. But the sheer number of cable pundits that Trump has hired or considered hiring shows how much more seriously he takes cable news than his predecessors. For Trump, selling his presidency on cable TV is a full-time job. Tonight it's live on Fox. It's live. Who likes Fox? I like Fox.